So the question is whether CuOH2, that's copper 2 hydroxide, is soluble or insoluble in water. And the short answer is that it's slightly soluble in water. Just a little bit of it's going to dissolve. There are a few ways we can figure that out. First, we could have memorized the solubility rules. So as we go down our solubility rules, most hydroxide salts, they're slightly soluble. And there are a few exceptions. Copper's not one. So according to these rules, this should be slightly soluble. When you put it in water, a little bit of it dissolves, not a whole lot. We could also look at a solubility chart. So here is a solubility chart. We're looking for copper right here, Cu2+, and then the hydroxide, the negative ions there across the top, OH-. So we go down and over, and the solubility chart is saying that it's insoluble, that it won't dissolve when we put it in water. Almost all compounds, even insoluble compounds, are going to dissolve just a little bit. So we have a little bit of a conflict between our chart and our rules. In general, if it's soluble or slightly soluble, they're very similar. And when we look at things like net ionic equations, we consider them to be the same thing. So myself, I would call copper 2 hydroxide slightly soluble. One thing to note, we know that it's copper 2 because the hydroxide, that has a negative charge. You have two of them. So this has to be 2 plus. That's what makes this copper 2, the 2 plus charge there. There's one more way we could do this. We could get some copper 2 hydroxide and put it in water and see if any dissolves. We would expect that just a little bit would dissolve as copper 2 hydroxide is slightly soluble in water. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.